Okay, so here's another example uh, to decide which uh, Lewis structure is most stable using the formal charge. Uh, this time we have three different structures that are all valid Lewis, Lewis structures, but we want to determine which one um, is the best or which one contributes the most uh, to the weighted average of these resonance structures. So <clears throat> I've already filled in some of the information for each one of them, uh, notably their valence electrons. So once again, these come from the periodic table. Um, I've also labeled them 1, 2, and 3, uh, so it's easy to distinguish them. So let's do what we did last time and look at the structures and determine the number of non-bonded electrons and bonding electrons, and then uh, compute the formal charges for each one of these cases. Uh, so let's start with number one. Um, the number of non-bonded electrons in this oxygen here is six, and the number of bonded electrons is two. Um, uh, for carbon, it looks like we have zero non-bonded and eight uh, bonded, so one, two, three, four bonds times two is eight. And then for the nitrogen here, we have these two electrons in the lone pair, and then three bonds, which gives us six. Um, so let's compute the formal charges. So we have to do six uh, minus six uh, minus two times a half, which is one. So the formal charge on this guy is going to be minus one. Uh, we'll go through uh, something similar here for the carbon. So it's four. Uh, minus half times eight, so four minus four gives zero. And then for this guy, we have five minus two, which is three, and then minus another uh, three. So that gives us zero once again, yes, zero. Okay, uh, let's do case number two. So uh, for the oxygen, this time we have four non-bonded electrons and four bonded. Uh, for carbon, we have 0 and 8. And then for nitrogen, uh, we have 4 and 4. So I'll just fill in the formal charges here. And once again, remember, just evaluate this expression I have written right here. And then I'll do the same for this last guy. So uh, this guy has two non-bonded. Oops, sorry, this was supposed to be a triple bond. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, so it has two non-bonded and then uh, six bonded. Uh, this has zero and eight. And this one has six non-bonded and one bond here, so that's two. And then once again, the formal charges I'll fill in here. Sorry. See, I'm drawing the dash to distinguish the O's from the zeros, but it should be obvious, but in case it isn't. Okay, so we've computed the formal charges for all of the atoms and all of these resonance structures. So we have to go back to our rules to determine which one is the most stable. So first of all, remember that uh, molecules with the least amount of formal charge in general are the most stable. So number three is the least stable. The reason being uh, both the oxygen and the nitrogen have formal charge, uh, whereas in these cases um, only the oxygen or the nitrogen has formal charge here. So there are two atoms with formal charge, and in the other cases there's only one. So we know number three is not the most stable. So between number one and number two, we have to decide which is most stable. Remember our next rule that the most electronegative atom has the negative formal charge. So we have to decide if oxygen is more electronegative or if nitrogen is more electronegative. And we know from our periodic trends that the answer is oxygen. So this implies that structure number one is the best.